Well, don't look now, but August is almost over. September arrives Wednesday and Labor Day is this weekend. Are you just as excited as you would be for, say, Memorial Day? Or is Labor Day kind of a well, we are joined right now by our friends of the show, co-host of the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 DVD. That's Lauren Crocker. Hey, Lauren. Hey. AJ Williams, managing editor of the Michigan Chronicle and the woman behind single blackchick.com. And <laughs> funny man Mike Bonner joins us. What's up, Bonner? What do you do? You're what underdressed, do? man. Where, where's the loud sport coat? I don't see it. Is <laughs> what now? <laughs> Nothing. First, let's go to AJ. Uh, does Labor Day mean the end of vacation season? Is it a want want? It kind of is a want want. <laughs> I think especially this year, it's been so rainy this summer, so I don't feel like we really had the summer that we should have, and now it's about to go away, and I think Labor Day is a little bit of a reminder of that. Bonner, let's go to you. I don't think you can hear me. Let's go to Lauren first. Lauren, take it away. Okay, okay. I am that girl. I'm all about fall. I've already had a PSL, bring on Labor Day. It's so hot this time of year. I'm ready. I'm ready for it all. It's also a good shopping weekend, and I love to shop, so I'm ready for it. Okay, now let's go back to, to Mike Bonner. What do you say? Labor Day. Let, let me ask you a question, Jason, since you're so smart. Let me <laughs> ask you this question. If you don't have a job, can you celebrate Labor Day? <laughs> My goodness. Where are you at? Are you... No. I think it's kind of, it's in the summer, you know what I mean? I had a great summer. It was kind of rainy, but it was a great summer. Kind of winding down, I spent some time with my kids before they go to school, or while they're starting school. This is a good time of year still. Oh, well, let's stay with you. Uh, is it better to get away for the weekend, or do you stay home and, and basically like enjoy a staycation? A staycation, baby. A, a staycation, definitely. Just sit around the house and do absolutely nothing. But write jokes, maybe? I don't know. Let's go to uh, Lauren. What about you? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a staycation holiday. So many people have school coming up. It's probably easier to just kind of stay and chill and soak up those last summer days. AJ? No, single black chick over here. We're going to be all on the beach. All on the beach. <laughs> probably do a couple of different beaches. I think this is a good time to, like, hit up the last couple of beaches of Michigan season. We have some really, really nice lakes, and that's where I'll be this weekend. Is your uh, swimsuit selfie game strong? Very strong. Very <laughs> solid. <laughs> solid. I love how she was like, I'm not even worried about nothing. Come on. What about Labor Day versus Memorial Day or the 4th of July? Do they all have the same zest? It's no comparison. There is no comparison. The 4th of July, you get it popping, baby. Fireworks, the whole shop, barbecue, <laughs> friends come by the crib. There's nothing like the 4th of July. That's All right, Christmas AJ. The summertime. I would have to agree. Uh, 4th of July is kind of like officially, like summer is hot. Like Mike said, fireworks. Labor Day is just a reminder summer is over, so I'm going to go with 4th of July as well. The 4th of July is like the blue drink of holidays, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, what do you say? I think Memorial Day kicking off the summer is also pretty cool as well. I feel like there's a little more energy going into that holiday. And 4th of July is fun. This is just like kind of a, you know, chill, chill holiday. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with, you know, my favorite month is uh, April in the D because of all the stuff that happens. You got uh, March Madness, then you have uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, a day like saving time, opening day, Masters on TV. I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to. This is like the, the complete opposite of that this time of year. Of summer. <laughs> Tati just called it the Sunday scaries of summer, and it I think is. that's right. Finally, uh, AJ, <laughs> do you get excited for what comes after Labor Day? Or, uh, we already heard from Lauren that she loves her cider mill season. What about you? Bring it on. I'm going to go with Lauren. I love fall season. I mean, you can layer. Fall equals fashion, yeah. especially mm -hmm. in Michigan. You can layer. You can do boots, his leather jacket. And then, of course, the best thing of all, I'm a fall baby. My birthday is in November, so of course I love fall. <laughs> November what? November 18th. November 18th, Anybody shop early, shop often. Yes. <laughs> uh, real quick, Bonner, what do you think about cider mill season? It's great. You know, I go with my kids. We get some apples and donuts and cider mill. I love it. It's a good time. The fall is cool because it's football season. I'm a football fanatic. 
but I'm also a jazz junkie. This is my jazz time of year right now. When the Jazz Fest goes down, I am all into the Jazz Fest. Thank you so much, Buddy Dog Jack, Jazz Cafe, for sponsoring the thing every year. All right, and thank all three of you for joining us today. Bye. Happy fall.